go. Uh, I had hoped one day that I would get the opportunity to, uh, to drive a funny car, but you know I was completely happy driving that Seal Master uh, top fuel car. I thought for sure we'd be able to contend for uh, the championship of 2017, and then this opportunity came about and uh, the end of uh, November, driving the DHL Toyota Camry, and saying, like, man, this is a pretty much a once in a lifetime opportunity if you actually want to drive a funny car that's competitive and able to go out there and win races and it's plenty capable of winning championship as it has in, uh, in 2015. So when that opportunity came about, I mean, it, it made sense for our whole organization at Coletta Motorsports to, uh, to do it. And more than anything, it just, it's an honor to drive this car with uh, its past history with uh, Scott Coletta driving it and losing his life. And, uh, and Del Worsham, you know, winning the championship. And it just, uh, it means a lot to everybody at Coletta Motorsports and Ani said that uh, you know they weren't just gonna get just anybody to drive it that it would take a special person because it's a special car so for him to uh, to pick me to drive it it's uh, it's pretty much the ultimate honor in uh, my career so far I mean I've heard Jimmo explain why uh, why I was uh, the perfect fit is you know, Scott was a badass driver and kind of uh, edgy, you know, he, uh, he was respected, but uh, he was edgy, he was aggressive, and uh, Jimbo's words, well, he, he thought that Scott would think I was a, a great fit, and Connie thinks I'm a great fit, and just, I don't know, it takes, uh, it takes not anybody can just fit in over here at Coletta's. I mean, it's more of a, a family atmosphere. I mean, these guys, they're young, they're aggressive, they're talented, they like to have a lot of fun. And uh, it's just, I, I fit in with them over here. You know, that's just how things, uh, how things have been the last three or four years. And I'm still, uh, still learning how to fit in with the, the funny car deal. But so far, it's been a good transition. Funny cars definitely can be uh, intimidating from the outside looking in. I mean, my mom, she's a nervous wreck about me uh, driving this thing, but uh, I'm gonna say that I'm not afraid of it, but I definitely respect it because uh, these things, they're a handful. Compared to that top fuel car, I mean, you're driving these things from the time you hit the gas to the time you step off the gas. Just a lot of steering input. I mean, I'm not saying it's easy to drive a top fuel car. It's definitely not, especially that CO Master uh, dragster. I mean, you got to uh, be on your toes with it, but with uh, the funny car, you got to kind of anticipate where it's going. And now with these laid back headers and uh, me being different in the cockpit, just trying to get the weight balance correct. So it makes it harder to steer when the both front wheels are in the air. And uh, it's just a, a learning process for all of us over here right now. And I'm a uh, I'm not intimidated by any means, but I'm uh, just, I guess, a little cautious from uh, right now, early on. But once we get some full laps under our belts, I mean, it's going to be game on. Uh, do whatever it takes to turn on wind lights and uh, win races. I think every team uh, is concerned about this team, knowing that uh, you're lining up against uh, car won the championship two years ago so they're plenty capable of going out there and winning the every race that uh, they show up to and right now I'm the uh, the X factor over here just uh, once I get caught up to speed uh, where I can start work on things like uh, my reaction time and keeping this thing straight down the groove I don't see any reason why we can't go out there and win races right from the get-go but uh, funny car class right now it's probably the most uh, competitive class in all of the uh, Mellow Yellow uh, series right now. So, yeah, I mean, I, I would be uh, worried to line up against us if I was another team, for sure.